Hello everybody, it's Dina here, and I'm an artist. At the background you can see a speed paint of me drawing a fan art on the game Among Us. Today is going to be a talking video, so you can either stick around and watch my speed paint and listen to me, or you can grab a paper and a pencil and draw yourself. And so the topic I'm going to talk about today is art. First thing I'm going to talk about is what is art? Art is an expression of human creative skills and imagination, typically in a visual form, such as painting and sculpting, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Usually we imagine art as something like this, something that looks pretty and appealing. But let me tell you that even this can be called art. And as I said earlier, art is not only something that looks pretty, it could be anything that expresses the emotions of the artist. And that's the reason why this can be called art. Now that I have defined what art is, let's move to the next topic. So our next topic is, should you be good in drawing to define yourself as artist and call your drawings masterpieces? I've been thinking about it for a while, and my answer is no. You shouldn't be good in drawing to call yourself an artist. You shouldn't be good in drawing, but you should know what your art piece is about. By that I mean that you should understand what each line in your artwork means. You should know what your artwork is expressing. So yes, you shouldn't be good in drawing, to call yourself an artist, but you should understand what your piece is about and what it expresses. The next thing I want to talk about is professional artists and beginning artists. And no, I don't mean that professional artists are the people who draw beautiful pictures and beginners ones are the ones that are drawing ugly ones, no. Sometimes pictures drawn by professionals look even worse than the ones that are drawn by beginners. What I'm trying to say is that professional artists know what they're doing. By that I mean that they have more experience than the beginning artists. While the beginning artists are usually copying from others, I don't mean that just taking their pictures and writing their name on it, maybe they're just tracing or trying to copy someone else's art piece because they think it looks good. There are also beginning artists that draw the same thing all the time. By that I mean they are scared to go out of their comfort zone. If they are kind of good in drawing for example girls, they are going to draw all the time girls and won't try to draw boys because they know that they are bad at it. They are also scared to change the poses of the characters. For example, if they are not good at drawing hands, they are going to hide them behind the character's back or just crop the picture that way so they won't be seen any of the hands. While usually the professional artists like to try new things and sometimes even new styles that aren't in their comfort zone. I'm moving on to our last topic for today, criticism. So basically criticism is when a person takes your mistakes and tells you how to improve them. At least that's how it should be. But today there are many people who criticize wrongly. They usually say something like, I don't like your picture or your art sucks and they don't tell you why it sucks and why don't they like it. That's one of the reasons why you can find so little of the artists on internet because most of them are scared of this kind of critique. Also, usually people who criticize wrongly are actually not artists by themselves. Well, people who know art, they can actually tell you what's your mistake and tell you how to fix it. So if you don't want your feelings to be heard, don't ask random people about their opinion on your drawing. That was all for today. Thank you for watching and bye.